Hello everyone. Today's devotional reading we from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 9, verses 32 through 34, where it is written, After they had gone away, a demoniac who was mute was brought to him. And when the demon had been cast out, the one who had been mute spoke. And the crowds were amazed and said, Never has anything like this been seen in Israel. For the Pharisees said, By the ruler of the demons, he casts out the demons. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Today's brief reading is an object lesson about missing the point. Folks, the supernatural is very real. Why do bad things happen? <clears throat> because there are spiritual forces of evil that manipulate things to be not just bad, but truly horrific. Real things such as homicide, you know, warfare, some substance abuse, and so on, I think are caused by demons in people's ears as much as people giving in to their own um, fleshly impulses. Evil is very real. And God made man, Jesus Christ, what does he do to the forces of evil? He annihilates them. He destroys them. They're gone. And the religious leaders, the learned people who should be know, know what's going on, look at what's going on and miss the point entirely. Oh, he's doing it by the prince of demons. He's driving out demons. No, he's your God. He's your Messiah doing what he's supposed to be doing. You're missing it. I mean, it's common sense. How can Satan drive out Satan? That's true. That Satan's time is at an end. But they miss the point. And so often we miss the point too. Now we call Jesus Lord, but we still have anxiety. Because, you know, it is a sick, twisted world. The demons are working overtime. And, you know, without the demons, people are, we are sinners, and we give in to our impulses, and we see how it's working out for us right now. It's a sick world. What's going to happen here nationally? What's going to happen here globally? I have no idea, and I'm terrified. I think we all are. Remember that Jesus Christ is Lord. How many human beings have died and risen that never died again? How many being, human beings when they died when they're a soul in the realm of the dead destroy the forces of evil? How many people when they die forgave us our sins when we repent we're forgiven? How many people are God made flesh? Only one. Jesus Christ our Lord. And when I say he's God, I mean he is God. He ascended after he rose 40 days later to sit at his throne and rule over the creation. His saints and his angels are with him. They're cheering us on. They're praying for us. And I realize this world is, yeah, it's sick. But it's not over. It's still God's world. And at the end, Christ will return. Things will be set to rights. The night in which we find ourselves will only last for a time. Then all things will be made new again. This, believe me, is good news. It's easy to forget. It's easy to go, woe is me. It's hopeless. Well, Jesus Christ, it is hopeless. But he's here. He's God. So all things are difficult. Financially, emotionally, spiritually. We know that Jesus Christ is Lord. And all things, even things that are going on right now, will happen. And we'll see that it's going to God's greater purpose. So we cling to our Lord, for he is our only hope. We say, God, forgive me, and he does. God, help me, and he does. And we cling to him, because like I said, he's our only hope. Let us close in prayer. Lord, drive the spiritual forces of evil that tempt us. Lord, have mercy on us sinners and help us to overcome our own fleshly failures. By your Holy Spirit and the prayers of your saints, guide us into eternal life found only in you, Lord. Amen.